All right. One of the one of the final forces, one of the ones that come at the end of physics one, is going to be the force of tension. Now, this force actually makes things makes force diagrams very difficult because when you're dealing with tension, you're often dealing with two objects, and so you have to do simultaneous equations and a whole lot of jazz. But we'll take a look at those when we're doing some example questions. Okay. So now let's take a look at the fundamentals of the force of tension. It'll be seen as F sub T, or sometimes a capital T. Again, following with the F of S theme, uh, it's important that, I, that you understand the direction. Okay? The force of tension is always going to be in the pulling direction. How many times have you seen somebody hook up a rope to something and then start pushing the rope? Okay? It, it kind of defeats the purpose. All right? So tension will always be in the pulling direction. And the magnitude, again, is going to be it's a resultant force. Okay? Now what do I mean by resultant force? Well, this is similar to the normal force, is that it is a result of something else. Okay? Tension will oftentimes be the result of gravity in the case of a hanging object, or the muscular force of a human being when you're pulling. Okay? So those two things are going to determine what the magnitude of the tension is going to be. Now, uh, I drew a simple picture up here, and this picture is just a man and a box and a blue rope attached to the two. As you can see, the force of tension, if you're writing an F net diagram for the man, is going to be towards the right, or if you're drawing the diagram in terms of the mass, the force of tension is going to be to the left. Now, the force of tension oftentimes is not going to be an, a value of importance to you. However, it will still be an unknown variable that you'll have to deal with in the course of your, course of your problems. So make sure you watch the following example on, uh, the, on the force of tension in regards to a multiple mass force problem. Alright guys, see you soon.